to my channel and if you are new here don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to your girl you know because i like when you kick it with me and because i like kicking with y'all so all right like i was scrolling on instagram of course and well, i'm always scrolling on instagram however this got me thinking um all the pictures all the beautiful pictures of beautiful black girls just doing their thing doing their you know aesthetic it doesn't matter what aesthetic you are we are doing the dang thing out there i mean all these pictures that i've seen ugh, ugh, like these are gorgeous girls um young women and i'm including i am including myself in this i just couldn't believe how much Bubblegum pop culture, whether you want to call it bubblegum pop culture or pop culture, um, how much influence it has had on black women in general. Black women and black young girls everywhere. Now is like today is like a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And we are definitely taking our aesthetic. We're we're taking it back. We're owning everything that everyone has bit off of us you know what i'm talking about um everything to everything from our, our hair our, our, the braids the afros the color of our hair the makeup the chunky jewelry you know the attitude the the pop that we always do you know it's just like we we make the culture i remember and i'm going to do a quote the great felicia Rich Felicia Richard said, there's no black culture, or there's no culture without black women. Do you agree with that? I definitely agree with that. There is absolutely no culture without black women. Can you imagine us all packing up and going back to Africa? Bruh. I'm sorry, y'all. That's systemic, systemic race, <laughs> brainwashing. We never, we, we are, we never went to Africa. We never, we weren't born here. America, Africa, don't do it. Y'all, don't cancel me for that, y'all. Can you imagine us going to Africa? Just, just packing up Western, just saying goodbye to Western civilization and just going to Africa, just going, you know, to Zimbabwe, you know, Johannesburg, just going and where all our people at and just packing up and leaving. We're, we will pack up the culture of this entire, entire country and leave it like hung and dry. And basically, it would just be like mayonnaise or mayo, light mayo, if you're dieting, you know. However, we're here to stay because we're about to run. We're running things. We are absolutely running things. And so all of these just images, and it just got me to thinking, you know, growing up, um we didn't have this we didn't have such a vast amount of you know inclusivity in, in, in images that looked like us now we have tv shows we have anime we have dolls a, a myriad of dolls um that look like like us our hair i mean i, I don't know but I would, I'm just thinking, like, why didn't we have this when we were growing up, like, in the 90s? Like, I'm in my 30s, so, you know, and then, um, I'm just thinking, like, even in the 2000s, like, I'm graduating, like, even growing up in the 2000s, like, it was coming, like, we were still, we still didn't have these images, but we had, like, the video vixens girls. Like, if you remember back in the day, there were a lot of video vixens that were black, um, and then they got their shine on in these awesome music videos. So, um, you know, we see a kind of representation in that, representation and um, music. And then Nicki Minaj jumped on the scene and she just completely, completely just took over it um, with that dash of her bubblegum rap. And she kind of led the way in terms of really expressing oneself if you're a black girl 
we're on to color wigs now we we are doing our makeup any old kind of way that we want to when we feel like it it doesn't matter if you're dark skin we are wearing lime green neon pink neon blue and yellow wigs it don't care we don't care and i remember there was this man i forget who he was on the breakfast club and he was like dark skin girls cannot wear um red lipstick or they don't look right like uh, wearing bright red lipstick or something like that let me tell you something i've been wearing i've been wearing red lipstick for a, a, a long time and, and there's all different color of shades of red so all you just have to do is find your fit and there you go y'all i am so proud of us so the representation in pop culture today is so so awesome and like i said i think we are we we started this we are leading the way um everyone from chloe hallie megan Thee Stallion, Nicki minaj um sweetie um oh my goodness normani it is joy i remember, remember y'all remember joy brad from honey um I, I can name so many like women and yeah, girls, Lele, she is the most adorable, adorable, adorable um, young lady. And she has a show called, uh, what's, uh, what's up, Lele? Oh, that, that girl, Lele. And I think it's a really, really awesome um, representation for black girls everywhere. And they can see themselves on Nickelodeon. And that's what I'm talking about. We did not have that. We had Susie from Red Rats. You know, we had a couple other like, you know, peppered black girls and, you know, shows. But to see a young black girl um, just being herself and not it being, you know, caught or deemed ghetto or whatever. And she's just enjoying herself. She's just like Jojo Sly, um, Miley Cyrus. Celine, Selena Gomez, all of them. She's just like them and she deserves, as best, that show deserves just as much attention as um, those other shows, those uh, those other girls that was in Nickelodeon. And there's an, also another show called Saturdays. I am a big um, advocate of this show. I'll put it right here, a little promo picture. Saturdays is a wonderful show that is surrounded by it, it it has a lot of black oh my goodness in here and golden brooks golden from um uh girlfriends i absolutely love this show this is another show that i feel that you know they represent bubblegum pop culture the black girls in this so fly they're so awesome i love the fact that I'm, I'm gonna do a review on this show, but to give you a little synopsis, it's basically about you know three young girls. They are they love to skate. It's about friendship. Um, they wear fly clothes, and the the main actress, I think her name is Danielle. Um, um, don't call me on that. But she's a beautiful dark skin girl, and she is just so pretty, and she represents a lot of what we wanted to see back in the day she represents she's a good friend she's a good listener um she flies she's fly as heck um and she's just a good daughter uh good just all around wholesome wholesome show if you haven't checked it out check it out guys and i'm just loving it i'm just loving this era of black girl bubblegum uh pop culture is what i call it and I'm just so proud of you guys. There's so much, there's so many cores to like Aaliyah core. Aaliyah core is blowing up the scene. Now, if you don't know what Aaliyah core is, it's this and this and this. Black girls are representing Aaliyah core or Aaliyah core really, really well. I remember back in the day, I used to dress like this. I used to have my cute, I've, I've always loved pink. Now, everyone in there, Mama and that grandma love pink, so a lot of things that come out pink, especially with the black, the Barbie movie, it was all sold out, and I was so upset, y'all. I was so upset. However, there's a lot of pink in the little court, and 
I wore like my knee knee highs, my furry knee highs, my cute little skirts. I love pleated skirts. Um, I expect it's not the first one to have pleated skirts, y'all. It's skirts. Y'all know the skirts. Uh, uh, skirt in the front, shorts in the back. They're they are here. <laughs> they're back, and I think they're here to stay. <laughs> they were so cute and cool cool locks or capris and everything like that. So Aaliyah Core is just representing the soft touch, the softness of um, qu quiet cuteness. Uh, everything to feathers and furries and frilly things and just pink this, uh, green this, blue this, you know, adding on all kinds of jewels and accessories and putting your hair up like the brat styles. But now let me get started on the brat styles because we make that, we make that ish popping. We really do. I love me a cute brat style. When they first busted on the scene, I had to have one. I really did. My friend got me one for my birthday and it was absolutely adorable. I love Sasha. Shout out to Sasha. How about Sasha? You guys, I was only playing. <laughs> I absolutely love that we are taking center stage and this um and this new this new day and age of black girl representation and we're representing ourselves really well i mean how do you guys feel about that do you are you seeing you know more of us you know rep really representing ourselves and you know being unapologetic we couldn't really do this back in the day because we were deemed like weird or or stuck up or too <laughs> i remember y'all know the movie clueless Clueless is one of my all-time favorite, favorite chick flicks girl. This is this is a cult classic to me. And ever since that movie, I I I I was just so proud of how that movie just turned out and how it's still still a diamond. Um Dion. I love Dion, obviously. But Cher was it for me. Cher had a closet that I wanted so 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 bad and it was just the whole movie just represented me internally and just seeing a black girl just seeing Stacey Dash represent us and with her braids you know it was all we could just ever ask from her and just that movie in general just seeing a black woman you know being cute being free um having a good boyfriend and you know and still being innocent at the same time we love that i absolutely love that and i mean it was just awesome so i feel that you know back in the day you know we just couldn't express ourselves like this or we just or we just did it and we just we just did it in a room and got undressed because we were worried about what our family members would say or whatever i don't know but I am really loving this culture, the influence that it has having on us and our, our mental and our self-esteem is very important. And that's that's what we wanna that's what we wanna do. We wanna make sure our little girls are having a self-esteem that we didn't have growing in the day, um, well, back in the day. We wanna make sure that you know, they can be fly, they can be smart too, and just be unapologetically black and beautiful. And that's what it's all about. I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. I'm love I'm seeing it on YouTube in these YouTube streets. I'm seeing it on Instagram. I'm seeing it on Twitter. I'm seeing it everywhere. And I'm just here to say, keep up the work, black girls. You're awesome and I love you for it. And I love it. Peace. Bye.